so that we can try to save as much of this as possible. <laughs> that was smart. Have this cut up to here, right? No, that's fine. Yes, because yeah. that's yeah. yeah. That's, we're that's we're gonna leave that up there. Yeah. So. Like that to stay attached. Maybe that'll be what holds it all together. And here's my thoughts on this. And it's your house. Think this through. Like I say, this beam in terms the roof goes like this. This is a gable end, so we just gotta hold up what's above it. This I think is doing a fine job at holding that up. Plus, it's nailed to all the others. And it's still nailed to these over here. Mm -hmm. This way, we don't have to think about anything because when the plumber put in, he just cut everything out. So this isn't seeing any of the weight from the this side of the roof, mm -hmm. the weight bearing side of the roof. What I think you should do, I would start to make a little cut and see if it starts to bind up on you. I think that you can take this right out right now and then we can put a nice plate going across the bottom. If you were a karate guy, you could. Give that one good blow and it would be out of there. There's still a little meat in the middle, but not yeah. much. Not much. Alright, so uh, are you thinking the first cut ought to be near the bottom? I would do it right in the middle. Oh really? Yep. Because right. there's not much there anyway. Right, let me get a bigger blade. So here's my thing, if it does bind up here, if there is weight on it more prone to collapse because it doesn't have a soft footing to rest back down on versus if we were to cut it up here. Yeah, if you want that, that makes, that, that map makes sense. All right. So do you think it's, you were saying the first cut's usually the easiest as to get as, straight? As long as there's good meat on both sides. Because if it's, if you're trying to cut like a little bit off, it'll always want to wander into the easy part. All right. So Let's, why don't we start at the top? If you um, want to try and make your cut, where, where's the cut going to go? I think I'm just going to follow this board right here on this side and just line the guide up right there. Oh my gosh, that's close. Let me see if I can go up on there. Okay. I just want you to have a line that's square so you have some sense that you can look at of how you're doing and how to pencil. If you cut flush with that, you got that line that shows you what square looks like going this way. And do it on that side. Yeah, is there anything I can go right into that nail? Just to have some kind of reference point. God, that is right. Oh my. What's the matter? I just hope I can get it that tight. The board. That is right where the, the good wood starts. The one thing you don't want to do is cut this like flailing, like a terrible angle. If it feels uncomfortable, cut it down here someplace, and then we'll we'll come back and we'll we'll get a good cut there. If you have to do it by hand, we'll do it by hand. Yeah, you know, maybe for this first cut, just since there are some unknowns, let me cut at the bottom. All right. That way, we'll see if it binds. If it binds, then we know we have other problems. Yeah, we have. Do you want to go get two by fours now, just to have them? Yeah, we're gonna hurt. We're gonna mm -hmm. need them anyway. Like I say, if that's really bearing a lot of weight, you're it's gonna bind soft. I really think you're going to saw it through and you're going to see the light of day through the whole cut. I think it's going to happen. I, I, you know, at this point, it's been standing there for so long with none of the cross member support and everything. Yeah. I, you're going to see quite the look of surprise if it does blind. Just remember, God, God hates a cow. Yeah. Just try not to hit a nail if you can. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to go between these two. I think that'll. <laughs> well, how about that? See? The only thing is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tear it. I wouldn't leave it like that for a week. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this is right now pretty much useless. Yeah. What you're going to probably want to do, I'd probably come up here just to get rid of so we're not trying yeah. to manhandle a giant piece. Yeah. It'll cut sense. real easy up in the middle somewhere. Oh, I just cracked a whole piece off. Yeah, it's just, it's out of here. I'm gonna take this right out because it's it's a tad messy. Yeah. The 
the idea that these nails are actually kind of holding is a good sign for that. I mean, this still is kind of rotten, but it's, it's still holding a nail, which is a pretty big plus. Probably nailed that way too. It's such a sweet sound. Oh, <laughs> first I didn't even know what it was. If I can, I don't want to chew up this plate anymore. Than yeah. You want to come look? Oh goodness, that's a hole. <laughs> you said you wanted a bigger hole, right? Uh, I don't remember saying that. Well, that's what you're getting. <laughs> so what's some? holding it up? Just these. Faith. Faith. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Really they wanted that to stay there. Look at how black it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Probably something in there diseased and will kill me. Yes. <laughs> I'm looking for a Halloween prop. I'd like the bottom of the beam to be square and sit mm -hmm. in and have good contact. So we're just going to shim this side up just a little bit with solid, just piece, slight pieces under. We only have to get to here and have it be nice and square. Mm -hmm. Just a couple pieces. Okay. This is actually pretty good yet. Yeah. Except for the middle where all the come up with all the nails. Yeah. We need to get that out though. The trick is to it, and you can do this. The trick is to it, don't just keep going and going and going. Look and see where you are. You got a mark here. And even if you're not on the mark right there, and you have a mark here, even if you're like, a, and it's good if you're a little bit below it, just as long as you're parallel to it. So it's square. That's what's important. And if it starts to, you know what, it's just not going right, someplace around here I still have that hand saw because I look for mine to bring it. And mm -hmm. we can just finish it by hand. It's a pain in the ass, but... All right, we'll get it done. Yeah. All right. And in the end, if three quarters of that cut is really very good and like the last little bit goes astray, not the end of the week. Like it looks to me like you don't have enough room to get the soft there to make a square cut. See, I think if we open this hole here to, yeah. about, to about here so you can get your whole hand up there and, and I All think right. that's what you yeah. need to do. Try to kill you. It's a hard hat area. <laughs> All right. Oh. There you go. <laughs> there was a wire there. I hope I didn't make it. I don't think I did. Lucky, lucky. Well, what do you know? No. The start cut is pretty good. You did good going across, so. Not bad. Not bad. Any better, but oh, it's right there is where it starts the rot. Oh, it's cool. like, man, if we had to go an extra inch, we would have been shit out of luck. That's good. That's all good, but I think you're alright. We want to be pretty exact on this. And shave it if we have to. Let's cut it off. Let's cut it off at 97 and 15 sixteenths. should go to the right. It'll be easier to bring the top in from the right side. So, you mean move it over like that? No, move it. Because we're not going to be able to tip it much. We're going to have to kind of work it in. God, this thing's freaking heavy. Let's try this way. Mitch. Uh, 
that's where it's going to start to get tight, it's right there. Okay. Oh, so you're casting your hammer real quick. That's what it is. This hammer is like a little bit shorter and I keep whacking my fingers on everything. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, it's a big hole. What do you think? Studly. Oh. <laughs> you are such a cool girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's progress right there. Yeah. Your house will not fall down. So you're saying we're in pretty good shape here now? I think we're done, man. You are secure right now. Yeah. And you know what? I'm pretty pleased with the way that all went together. You couldn't even squeak a shim in there. So. Yeah. Uh, I feel pretty good about that.